Hi guys, so is, here's a uh, short, um, maybe long, I have no idea, review of this uh, Flexbook which is a notebook um, I bought recently uh, because it was cheap and uh, the design looked nice and I was very pleasantly surprised when I received it for many many reasons. So let's have a look at this. So uh, this is a flex notebook from the writing fields. It's made in Greece and it's made of uh, cardboard and 192 pages made from Fabriano ivory paper, 85 gram gram per meter square, which is ecological in design because it's FSC, elemental chlorine free, acid free, heavy metal absence, it's biogradable, etc, etc. Uh, in terms of size, it's a 13 by 21, so it's a very small A5. And um, the cardboard cover is a Federigoni board, also nice in terms of ecological respect. Right, and um, you can actually um, draw on this if you want to. Right, so let's have a look at the uh, little thing that comes with it. So this it combines the advantages of pin and spiral book binding, and actually that's something that's interesting in this notebook. Uh, this binding which is very nice in terms of design, has one quality which I really love when I'm writing outside. You know when you're writing inside you can always have a table, but when you're writing or drawing something in nature then it's actually quite nice to be able to do this and have access to almost all your line. And that's the quality of this notebook. It's completely flexible and when you flex it, it doesn't break and the spine is not broken. And that's why it's called the flex book. And that's a very interesting design which I really like. Uh, it has the appearance of artistic book binding. So artistic, I suppose that's the uh, binding on the side. And actually the design is quite nice. It may be cardboard, but it's a nice textured cardboard, which looks a bit like cloth. And it's very nice. It's a texture that you cannot really see on the camera. You've got a hologram with a message that says holds your book together forever with the uh, logo of the writing fields. A red elastic band. The, co the color is not black, it's a uh, dark gray and it actually looks quite nice. It's a very nice looking uh, little notebook. Okay, uh, it folds backwards, folds without breaking, has no gap in the middle. Ideal for left-handed writers, I confirm, absolutely. I am a left-handed writer. It stays absolutely flat. Uh, what do they say? You can write from end to end. Yes, definitely. Uh, light and easy to use, I confirm. It's a light little notebook, very practical. Ecological, as I have said before. Economic in production, I have no idea. And lasts virtually forever, I have yet to prove that. But <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the uh, rest of the uh, notebook. So there's a black first plate which is cardboard as well, the uh, name of a notebook, Flexbook Notebook, and a part to write your name. Here the logo of the company, the writing fields, okay, and this Fabriano uh, ivory paper. Okay, it seems a bit lighter on my uh, uh, camera, but it's actually a strong ivory paper. It's not cream like it looks on this, it's actually quite uh, dark. Let me show you in contrast with the... Um, that's uh, light ivory paper, so as you see it's quite strong on the other one. Okay, and as for the lines, they are uh, small dark dots and you've got the name uh, Flexbook at the bottom. Uh, clearly not my favorite design in terms of lines, but still nice uh, features. At the end, you've got the same cardboard design and no pocket. Okay. Uh, let's have a look then at the uh, paper quality. Paper quality is usually something that goes down in cheap, inexpensive notebooks. I recently made a, um, a video about the difference between cheap and expensive notebooks and very often um, these notebooks were looking nice uh, but uh, the paper was not that nice in them. This one clearly is an exception. It clearly is and I'm a test with Cacao de Brazil, Orange Indien, Lia Sauvage. Uh, these ones are demanding inks, these ones regular inks. And look at the other side. 
you've got, well, on this side, you have absolutely no feathering. It's pleasant to use the pen on it. And on the other side, you've got no bleed through and very little show through. Very little, in fact. Right. So, this is something which is quite rare. I think I paid something like, well, uh, there was a promotion on this one, but I paid five euro six um, sixty for this one. The regular price is around ten euros, which would make it about twelve or thirteen year dollars. And this is really one of the nicest notebooks I've seen for this price. Very uh, handy. Uh, the size makes it practical to put in your backpack. To uh, uh, and the flexibility and durability makes it very nice to do um, to draw things or to write things when you're outside. It's not right in the rain uh, durability, but still. It's kind of nice. So I hope you like this review. Uh, this is a very nice notebook and you will not be disappointed with this, I can guarantee it. Uh, here is the end of my uh, review. Do not hesitate to leave feedback or comments um, below. I will give you um, the links to the, uh, the Writing Fields website um, uh, in the description box. I hope you liked it. Goodbye.